It's on the flag, public buildings, government offices, turrets and towers and conference centres. It's a TV ident and fills gift shops. In Wales, there's no escaping the dragon. It means my history and my ancestry for my fathers, my forefathers who came before me. So whenever I go away, I, you know, everyone says, are oh, you from Wales? And you're like, yeah, the one with the dragon on the flag. I just think it's so unique. It's a well-used brand, a logo for rugby and football clubs. Now, hear me roar! Even energetic dragon mascots get people excited. Oscar winner Anthony Hopkins in one of his best roles yet. Sports is fertile ground, especially in the Welsh capital city, when the national sides play at home. I mean, different communities interpret their emblems in different ways. I think for Wales, it has that sense of being protective, so it protects the country, but also that sense of independence, that it represents the Welsh nation as a nation that's separate from England or the rest of the United Kingdom. Across the country, castles in almost every town are a reminder of a violent past. At one time, Caerphilly was one of Europe's most powerful medieval castles. It's now home to a different kind of protector. The Red Dragon of Rhaegorch is often a tourist attraction these days, but the connection between the ancient Britons, the descendants of the Celts, and this national symbol predates this castle by hundreds of years. The story goes back to a hill fort in North Wales and a battle between the Red Dragon of Cymru, Wales, and the White Dragon of the Anglo-Saxon invaders, the English. It's a symbol that possibly arrived in Britain during Roman times, but since the 6th century, it's become rooted in Wales' national awareness. That's a piece of design. It's beautiful, it's simple. It isn't showy, it isn't brash, it isn't Hollywood. It's a really simple symbol which actually just denotes a place which is proud of its past, of its stories of dragons, but also um, is a country that looks forward, and it's a forward-facing dragon. Dragons can also be seen in the city of London. They date back to the Victorian era. Replicas placed in the 1960s still guard streets leading to London's financial centre. Back in Wales, they can appear in unexpected places. A fallen oak tree is now a four and a half metre wooden dragon. <coughs> Meanwhile, a few hours before a big rugby game kicks off in Cardiff, dragon admirers are everywhere. It's a bold symbol, stands out, it shows uh, it's assertive and it's a bold character in life. It's a great symbol. Anyone who sees it that's not from here, is, it's intimidating, you know? The Chinese think it, it's theirs, but it's not. It's, the dragon is definitely Welsh. A mythological creature, perhaps, but popular with locals and visitors alike. Yolo Aptavid, CGTN, Cymru, Wales.